Houston doing a lot of good and we turn now to our forecast a chance of snow and ice in the forecast tonight. Meteorologist Mike Taylor here with a look at the timeline because this could make for a bit of a mess tomorrow as uh, you know people potentially head back to work yeah. or get out there to you know make some of those holiday returns you know and it's been so quiet over the last couple of days especially going into winter now it's been so quiet but now things are going to get active not just for tomorrow morning but really much of next week we'll have a lot of winter written all over it wasn't the case today 41 we had a high temp well above average we're at 30 degrees early this morning uh, we will cool down into tonight, also into tomorrow. So first things first, before we even get into it, just want you to see where this is going to stack up on my uh, meter here. Looks like this is going to be just above the hype. This, this is going to be one of those systems that can slow you down. So it's not over the top, but it is something to definitely be aware of. The storm we're talking about, it's already here. So we're just tracking it as it gets closer to Metro Detroit. It's going to bring that opportunity of snow, yes, but we can also mix it up with some sleet and freezing rain. And if anything, I'm thinking those are the two that could actually slow you down or have the best chance of doing just that. Here's a look at the temperatures. We'll be on temperature watch. Notice how many of us are already below the freezing mark, and that's not the case for Adrian Monroe as well as Detroit. Also up towards Mount Clemens. If you fall around 32 degrees or less, you'll have a greater likelihood of seeing some of that freezing rain mixing in with the snow. So we're on temperature watch. The trend for tonight keeps us down to around 32. Then we'll slowly start to climb out of that. So this will eventually change to all rain. So most of the damage will be done tonight into tomorrow morning, and that's when temperatures are going to be at their lowest as the wintry mix moves in. Once we get towards the afternoon, this will change up because temperatures are expected to climb above freezing. This will turn into an all rain situation for late Monday afternoon into the evening time. But before we can get there, that's when we'll be dealing with the issue. So wintry mix is likely in the morning. Eventually we'll get to a high temp of 44. That'll come later in the day. And then we gear up and we do this all over again going into Tuesday. This will be more of a midday arrival. Temperatures will be more in our favor during the afternoon, but by Tuesday evening, numbers start going in the opposite direction, and that means we can see things begin to ice up once again. So a very active pattern here. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we'll have something to deal with here as far as some slick spots, maybe some leftover.